what do I get if I keep my Chinese name of Xing Yuan? And then what do I get if I just change my name to an English name? Oh, well, it looks like the pros outweigh the cons. This TikToker changed her Chinese name to an English name, and she said her life got better instantly. David, are we surprised, and should more people follow suit? This is the discussion going on. Yeah, I would actually call it more of a debate. There's this TikToker, and I actually seen her from other viral TikToks where she was like talking about PhD to ABG. And uh, I would say she said her name was Xingyuan, which was a Chinese Mandarin name, right? And she changed her name to Sage recently, and everything in her life went boosting way up, way more job offers. People at her current job are treating her better, way more dating matches on Hinge and other apps like that. And this sparked, Andrew, a big debate because some people said, you go, girl. You do what you got to do to fit into this country. And other people say, you are selling your heritage out. You're selling out thousands of years of your ancestors, giving in to Western dominance. And of course, a bunch of opinions in between. We're going to get into our takeaways, the comment section. So make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. Andrew, this seems like a trivial thing. But like we said, Andrew, people like taking these little things involving TikTokers but the comment section goes macro. All right, guys, my initial thoughts before we get into the juicy comment section is like, I guess it really depends on how you see life. Do you see life as a battleground and that there we're in a cultural tug of war when we get here as immigrants or immigrant children where you're like, I have to assert my culture. I have to represent my culture. I have to let people know and like, you know, push it on people. Or if you're just like, I, I just want to live the best life that I can, man. I just want to go with the flow. Right, because you're saying if you want to live the best life possible immediately, conveniently, it would be to take an Anglo name in America, right? Yeah. And then you're saying if you're more trying to plant a flag, be like a game changer, shift the matrix, then you would keep your Asian name, represent your Asian culture, be a celebrity, yeah. and shape people's minds. Yeah, well, you know, people are all going to do this like pros and cons list of like, what do I get if I keep my Chinese name of Xing Yuan? And then what do I get if I just change my name to an English name? Oh, well, it looks like the pros outweigh the cons. You know right. what I mean? And, and everybody has a different calculus, right? For exactly. some people giving up their name, that's like their heart. Right. And they can't give up their heart. Let's get in the comment section, guys. It, it gets all into the weeds of it. Somebody said, uh, well, to be fair, white people are terrible with non Anglo names. Maybe in New York, LA, or SF, they'd at least call you Xing instead of Xing Yuan. The X's would be confusing. But let's be honest, Americans struggle with French names unless it's Timothy Chalamet. They're only good with German, sort of Spanish last names. But uh, yeah, even other White people like Polish people or Russian people got to anglicize their names to fit in in the early 1900s. No, I'll tell you this. Not all Asian names are created equal. And just because you are Asian doesn't mean you're automatically good at pronouncing other Asian names. You mean outside of your own heritage, I'm right? not going to lie. Some of the, the Korean movie star names, they're a little bit hard. It took me like... It took me like 10 minutes to fix, like to park so June. So you, you know, I had th to like th learn this is an argument for like adopting Anglo-Saxon norms so we can all operate under the same shared umbrella culture yeah. in America, right? And, or North and, America. Again, it also matters like how much of the culture you think you bear in other ways. Like we were born with English names. Now you might be open to changing it to your Chinese name if you felt like that would benefit you enough or if it was going to make life more interesting, oh, right? I had thought about it. I had thought about changing my name from David to D1 yeah. or D1. Yeah. Right, right, right. But also, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it just matters on like, if you feel like you do a lot for the culture otherwise, then maybe you don't have to change your name. And it depends on your own individual capacities, right? Because some people are like, well, you know, I just kind of feel like a Cooper. I don't really know anything about my heritage. So if I have the name Cooper, then people will know that I... I'm American. Exactly. I like ribs. I like baseball. Exactly. Somebody said Arabs and Indians don't white, white, whitewash their names. East Asians need to take notice. Is this true? This is really interesting because a lot of the Indian people I know who are very, very Americanized uh, and born and raised in America, they kept their full on Indian names. And their names can be long and kind of hard to say. They'll be like, yes, yeah, up, dude. My name is Namesh. You want to hit this joint? Yeah. Like they're super <laughs> Americanized, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but... I think that obviously religion has a, a big part to play into why a lot of they uh, them keep their names, but also like, I guess, what can we learn from them? Like, because I yeah. guess a lot of them, they seem to be accepted in America and, but they keep their ethnic names. I noticed Japanese are more likely to keep their names too. Not for sure, but I'm just saying like more than Chinese are. Yeah. Because I think Japanese names, to be honest, are easier to pronounce. But, I think they're cooler. They're more accepted. But also, yeah. like, for a lot of Koreans and even Chinese, a lot of their names did come from biblical names, whether or not their families were super religious. Yeah. Well, like, Arabs and uh, Indian people typically not 
Anglo Christians, right? Right, We're not as bought into that system. I also think that in a way they're almost like Western people. So they more know how to juxtapose against Western people. I think sometimes when you're so Eastern, you come here and you're just like, yeah, let's just give it all up because we're in like totally out of our speed here. Right. Whereas right, right. maybe like Arabs, uh, Middle East is right next to Europe. Yeah. So they might know how to like interface or I don't know, whatever. They probably got beef from way back in the day too. Somebody said, uh, don't give in to Western dominance and disrespect. We're already speaking English and living American lifestyles. The least they could say is our names. I don't think this is actually a bad argument. This is a good argument for the fact that if you feel like you're a very... Uh, you're a high contributing Asian person in America. You mean you're contributing like, to America? No, and you're like, yo, I was in the military, or oh, I have this job, I do my work well. You know, I speak English. I'm cool with all my friends, and all I want them to is to say my name at least with 75 percent effort. It doesn't have to be 100 percent accurate, but at least they can try. I don't think this is asking too much. Honestly, I actually don't. Somebody said, though, this is an argument in favor of the name change from Shinyun to Sage. It's totally logical. Plus, she picked an indie pop folk singer name like Sage. This is going to help her tremendously. Someone said, I respect her ability to change and what it did for her life, and it was beneficial, but God made us all unique, and some of us have to downplay it based on our circumstances just to live a good life on earth. This makes me sad. Man, you know what's really interesting, David? That there's even a lot of fob immigrants who pick their names later in life, but they pick like wild names like Galaxy, Rainbow, Google, Google, universe man I shadow some, man i've seen some crazy ones usually though you know what i noticed they're not super attached and if they ever became american usually they don't keep the name shadow i'm not saying none of, none of them do in monterey park they definitely do with flushing <laughs> but like if they're gonna get a job in you know what i mean like a in a, a corporate job in manhattan or in la hey, how, how come how come none of the chinese immigrants pick the name ted yeah hello my name is ted <laughs> Somebody said, uh, I changed my name as an English Scottish woman because my maiden name just sounded too Southern. So I totally get it. I just don't understand why you just can't pick names like that, that benefit your life. What's wrong with that? Like any name that if I right. like my mom's last name better just because it sounds better. Is that necessarily disrespecting my dad? No, I think that, you know, again, if your name is the only part of of your motherland culture that you're holding on to that you represent, then maybe you might want to keep it to remind yourself. But if you feel like changing your name is actually going to benefit your life and you're like, I don't know, I feel secure in my lo- myself, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm whitewashing, then you have your right to do it too. Yeah, I mean, I remember I had a white PE teacher whose last name was a very German last name, like Kiltal Vogelstern or something like that. And her sister was a radio personality. And her sister was like, yeah, I definitely had to change it for Anglo radio because like people were not feeling a name that reminded them of Nazis. Right, anything that makes people feel more foreign or reminds them of a certain thing. It also depends on what type of job you have, of course. Right, and media, you gotta adapt, right? Media is more adaptive centric depending on what radio station you're on. If you're like on world music, maybe it helps to have that last name if you're on mainstream taylor swift music change it because people will judge you depending on what demographic they are somebody said what's wrong you got to take a chinese name when you go to china so there's nothing wrong here but uh is this true or this not true i don't actually fully think this is true because sometimes andrew like if your name is andrew and you're white and you go to china they will call you andalu Mm. Like, but sometimes, yeah, they do give you like a Chinese name if you want to pick one that has the meaning and doesn't just go with the alliteration. Somebody was saying um, in Japan, people would not want to say a Chinese name either. So what's so wrong about it? Asians do it to other Asians. Quit trying to pin everything on white people. Yo, I love how people bring in Japan always in these arguments. Like white people like using how Japan runs their structure and runs their country as like, see, well, Japan doesn't. Everybody loves Japan. Huh? Huh? Well, huh? Japan is also a 99.7% like, homogenous society, whereas America is literally very, very diverse, you know, yeah. and it's supposed to be the land of diversity. So I do think that that is some different historical context. It's an immigrant country. It's only 200 years old in terms of uh, most even European bloodlines. Somebody said, man, I'm glad she changed her name because she wasn't even saying it properly herself. She kept saying, my name is Xing Yuan. My name is Xing Yuan. And I noticed some people from like Ohio, like let's just say Xing Yuan is from Ohio. She might've been telling white people her whole name, her whole life, that her name was Xing Yuan, even though it's Xing Yuan. Right. Because we knew this guy whose last name was Shu, and he was like, yo, my last name is Zhu. And remember, we were like, your last name is not Zhu, bro. It's Shu. 
Right, right, right. Uh, well, you know, I think some people even take their Chinese names and even they keep their Chinese names, but they morph it to more make it sound like English. Right, but you then know? it sounds even, it sounds well, terrible. Well, it's wrong in Chinese technically. And then uh, I guess it's just easier. It's just like an in-between. I don't know. The in-between can be weird. Somebody said Sage or Xing Yuan or Xing Yun or whatever, Shen Yun, whatever her name is, sure is gorgeous. And somebody came in and said, yellow fever alert, yellow <laughs> fever alert. Somebody said, man, quit hopping on the victim bandwagon, man. People think you're pretty at least. Shut up. You know, the you, you know Yahoo comments going That's crazy. Funny. Somebody's saying, so basically she's telling us that we should all accommodate American people's racism and our lives will get better? Let me guess, she probably dates a white guy too. <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, yeah, again, I, this is tough, man. It just depends on how you act and where your heart is at, I guess. Somebody said, oh, can I name myself or, uh, oregano, coriander, dill, or clove since we're picking herbs that white people like as names? Coriander? Kind of a cool name. That's actually kind of a cool name. I'm de- Somebody said, I thought that Xing Yuan would work for dating apps, but I agree not for corporate environments. And somebody was saying, nope, it only works for Japanese names because people sexualize it through anime or possibly hentais and fetishize them. And then somebody said, let's be honest, in 2023 and speak the unspoken. There is specifically an anti-Chinese thread going on when it comes to Chinese names with X's in them because they are associated with spies and the geopolitical rival slash enemy. Uh, all right, here's my thing. If you're the type of guy to look at a girl's name that is Xing Yuan and assume that she's closer to a spy, you're probably not the type to even like a lot of Asian women, at least like East Asian women. But anyways. I do think that the name change, uh, the name change to Sage made some white guys probably go like, dude, she might like me if her name is Sage. Yeah. But like, I'm not sure if a girl named Shen Yun like would like me. Yeah, also, um, I do think that if you are only like filtering and trying to date Asian guys, I don't think Asian guys would hold it against you as much. But I do think the larger amount of American guys are going to prefer a English name. Dude, whether it's guys or girls, there is a level of foreignness that people are okay with. And then once it crosses crosses that threshold, it does step into like, it's kind of weird to me territory. Um, Andrew, let's get into our final takeaways. Like we said uh, earlier, it sort of boils down to what do you see as your mission in America, right? Like our parents all come from foreign places. Some of us are born here. Some of us come here at what? Five, 10, 15, 20 years old. Is our job here to represent our culture, the heritages that we come from that people obviously in the Western world or North America, the Anglo world, like know nothing about or don't care about, or, or, or maybe they're a little bit interested in, but not that interested. What's our goal? Is our goal just to have the best career possible? Cause then obviously we should definitely change our names. In fact, we should probably change our last names too. Well, think about it this way, man. When our parents were naming us, they, they in a way, were maybe thinking a little bit like Xing Yuan, right? Because they were like, okay, we could name them Chinese names, D Xiong and D One. I have an X in my name, D I X I O N G. That's how it'd be spelled in Pinyin. D Xiong. Yeah, D Xiong, which is hard to say. It would, yeah. you know, that would be hard to say. I have a Chinese name. It's a uh, Feng Di Shong, and uh, it actually translates to masculine cultural warrior. <laughs> D, even D1 would look weird too, but it's a little bit easier to say. But D Shong would be hard well, to say. Well, that X I O N G is tough. Yeah. It's just a weird, like, it just doesn't look What if you would have spelled it D E E Shong, I guess? S-H-Y-O-N-G. Yeah, or Deshaun, or yeah. like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I wouldn't have people say it like that, obviously, but that's like, you know, kind of a joke you say, I'll say it like that. But I would say, ultimately, um, yeah, I mean, I think everybody has a decision to make, and ultimately, uh, you know, maybe if it's just a name, you know, you just do what's better for your life, I guess. I don't hate her for it. It's not my job. I have an English name, so it's hard for me to hate on her. Right, right, right. It's hard for you to be like, oh, yeah. It's when my name it. is Andrew James. Like, you know, I've met Asian people who ask me, and they're like, oh, is, is the J in your middle of the name, is, is that for, like, your Chinese name? Like, Jin? Wen. Yeah, is that Jiang Wen or Zhao or Jin? I'm like, no, nah, it's James. And they're just like, you have two English yeah. names? Man, it really is tough to say, man, because I noticed some parents – 
they feel so disconnected from the Western world. They just give their kid the game plan that's going to make them the most upward mobile or fit in the most. And other people, they want to engage with the Western world and educate the Western world about where we come from and our like thousands of years of history. So those are two completely different missions. But I will say this, even though me and you have even Western middle names, our parents were very big on us being able to read and write our Chinese names growing up and yeah. and would call us that sometimes yeah that's true that's true i mean i think again it all comes down to the family comes down to the individual how much do you want to rep what does a name mean to you and if what does repping look like for you right yeah if it's the only thing about you that is asian then maybe keep it so it reminds yourself but also if everything about you is like if you feel like you're getting the job done and you're just like, you know what, I just want to make it a little bit easier for people, that's fine. I don't think that's wrong either, man. Yeah, so, but you yeah, in America. like we said, what's in a name? A name does change people's perceptions, whether it's right or wrong. This is the way the world works. Um, For me, I guess me, I, I'm hopeful in the future. I'd love to see people take more ownership of their Asian names, mm -hmm. but let people know that I'm not just a quiet person with an Asian name. I'm here to contribute both to America, but also to educate you about where me and my ancestors come from. Let us know in the comments down below uh, if you would change your name to your traditional Asian name. What do you think about our names, D Shung and D1? Maybe should we change our names? Would would that make it more interesting? Would the views go up? Would that benefit us? I don't know. Everybody has a, just a pros and cons chart, okay, about what things will do to right. their life. Everybody makes their own decisions in life, right? Everybody weighs it out. It's just like uh, Han's character in Fast and Furious. Life is simple. You just make decisions and you don't look back. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. We are the Hop Hop Boys. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.